this the verbal onslaught of maybe someone's angry and they just come out exploding with words that are just incredibly hurtful or they have this passive aggressive nature where, that's the one that scares me okay so comment aggressive. comment on that because mm. that's also a form of emotional abuse. here's what i say y'all is i've gotten as i've turned 60 and i'm older now i'm older therapist uh, I just do, I make up stuff. And this is what I made up. You know what, bro, I'm not worried about your motive because I don't know if I know. Are you trying to do all this? Mm -hmm. But your modus operandi, your method of operating, well, I got angry. The Bible says it's a command and imperative is be angry, but don't sin. I'm not going to fight him on, well, I wasn't trying. I, go, I get it. And maybe what you don't work out, you'll act out. We know the anger of man doesn't bring about the righteousness of God. So instead of wrestling with him around on, is it his motive to be angry? I say, Will you read the room and know your audience? Your wife feels scared and unsafe when you do this. And now I no longer care about your motive. So with that, if a woman, again, in many cases, say, do you feel safe? Do you feel threatened? No, I don't feel safe. I do feel threatened when he just raises his voice. And I'm going to say one more other little caveat. I work with people with some great compassion on my part, meaning this. I love it when I see people raise their voice, yell, maybe cuss in a session or something else, and uh, and they're getting big, as I call it. And I look and I go, I don't think you're aware of how big you are. That's why I love having a therapist in the room to go, may I give you feedback of how, and I'm a dude. Let me tell you how I'm experiencing you. And sometimes the woman has gotten really loud and big, and I say, ma'am, you, would you let me tell you how I experience you? Mm. And that's data versus two people by themselves. But he may not think, some people would, but he may not think he's getting all big and angry. He may not see it. Plus, anger tends to blind the mind so much that, that I'll be more in that limbic brain that I cognitively don't even think I'm raging right now, and I am. And mm -hmm. what about the passive-aggressive stuff? Well, I think the passive-aggressive, matter of fact, Joe, I'm just going to say I'm confident. I don't even think I think about it, is that is uh, purely by design. Uh, you want to watch out. It's the carbon monoxide in a relationship. It's colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. The Bible says there's a man whose words are smooth as oil. Oh, listen to that. But in those words are daggers. Mm -hmm. And so that is more, I think, I believe, is intentional. I'm aware I'm doing it. My job is to spray WD-40 in front of you on a towel floor and watch you slip. I'm going to dis-regulate you. I think he is mostly, he or she, largely, if not fully aware that I'm going to do this to get you dis-regulated. Hmm. And again... A possible sign of emotional abuse. Absolutely. Check your body. Why do I feel like something's going on here? Why do I, why, I don't even know what's going on. I call you when I call that. I call that relational vertigo. You think of what vertigo does. But there's a relational vertigo. I feel, wow, things are spinning. I don't pay attention to the spinning. And then go talk to someone.